senior tech day? Go for it. <laughs> This project, Senior Tech Day, started last year and it's a collaboration between uh, the Youth Serve program and Loudon Nelson Senior Computer Center. And the project is basically about bridging the, the technological uh, divide, essentially, between um, youth and seniors. Part of the reason why this project has grown is because Bill McBride, our volunteer leader, is a really wonderful guy. Hi, my name is Bill McBride. Uh, I'm a retired IT engineer from Hewlett Packard and various other uh, companies over in Silicon Valley. I got involved with the Senior Tech Day project uh, a couple of months ago. My function here is really to coordinate the, uh, the project during the day, uh, which entails getting the volunteers signed in, uh, letting them know the process of how to uh, be able to lend assistance to the, our customers who come in. It's a little more uh, forgiving to get help from somebody who maybe is not a family member. Maybe there's a little bit more patience involved uh, there. What I do notice about our volunteers is not only are they very capable, but they're very good communicators, and they do have that patience that it takes to get that kind of knowledge imparted to someone who you know is not up to speed on those, on those different tools. He's got a good, a good sense of when to step in and when to back off and let the kids figure it out for themselves. It's just a really uh, good way to learn your gadgets. We wanted to find out how to work face, FaceTime. FaceTime. So that we'll be able to, my granddaughter and I will be able to communicate from our homes. I think it's really cool that I can use my free time to come here and help them technology. I grew up with it and I think it's really cool to sort of bridge the connection with people who didn't grow up with it. Under Bill's leadership we've been able to offer this project twice as often. We have more kids showing up, we have more seniors showing up and so the project has really gained momentum. There's opportunities in the community for leaders to get involved and use their particular passions and interests and he's just one example of how much we can, how much more people can serve and get involved when we have people engaged in volunteer leadership. They have a great uh, volunteer uh, project leader training course that they do at the Santa Cruz Volunteer Center. And uh, I, I went through that course. I think for anybody who is looking for a way to give back to their community, uh, you know, it, it might seem a little bit challenging, but it's really a very rewarding thing to get involved in. It's delightful to work with the young people, and I, I think it's such a great idea. Um, I learn something, they share their talents with me. I feel like I, I made a difference, I helped. Um, and I guess that's what this event is all about. I mean, it's, it's just great to help people, you know, and potentially saving them money and saving them troubles. I needed to learn how to use the skills I knew from a PC now to the Apple, and uh, so Sophie made it pretty easy. 